Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. It's a beautiful day. I got a couple things in there I'm working on. One of them is the big skates that I used to move my shaper around on when I bought it. I had some trouble with them in the past, sliding around underneath. We're gonna fix them. Let's go in the shop. On the table here, these are the rollers that I used to move the big shaper in the shop. I made these the day before I went and got that shaper, and I made them in a haste, really. They worked pretty well, but they did have some issues. And the main issue was this slick top surface and the slick foot of that shaper. Plus the oil involved, it was, it was tough. They did work, but I think they could use some improvement. We're going to texture this top surface on the shaper and try to make these even better. They're pretty simple made. It's just a piece of quarter inch thick tube square that I cut in half basically and then we got some mild steel rounds that I drilled half inch and then run some half inch rod through and welded them solid so they're real basic but they serve the purpose I think if we texture this top it'll make them even better so let's go over to the shaper and do it all right this is going to be pretty simple really all we're going to do we got a flat bottom tool here and all we're going to do is we're going to go 20,000 steep and 150,000 per stroke. So that we're gonna, and then we're going to turn this piece 90 degrees and do it again. We're just going to give this a rough surface so it can bite in to the bottom of whatever machine I move next. stroke feed rate or your movement per stroke, your cutter, you know, shape. I mean, it's, uh, 
you got a lot of options when it comes to patterns. This is a 90 degree pattern. You can do, you know, anything, you know, anything in between with a swivel and vise. So Nerlin's a, a definitely a good thing, you know, with a shaper. It, uh, it adds a lot of flexibility to the shop. Let's cut this thing. So it's 150 thousandths per stroke. And we're at 21 strokes a minute. So we're kind of slow. Well guys, there you have it. Tool shape, spacing, and your angle, and you can get about anything you want. We got a square pattern here, and here's your little diamond pattern. These are some little aluminum vise jaws I'd made up just to, you know, not mar up sensitive surfaces in the vise. I can't wait to use these machine rollers. <laughs> I know that next time I use them, I'll be moving a big machine in the shop. I can't imagine knurling this would make the situation worse. I think it could only make it better. For those of you who've liked and subscribed, I just want to say thank you. And for those of you who haven't, please do. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. I got a lot more good stuff to come in the future. And I just want to say thanks, and I hope you enjoyed.